Each manufacturer of blowing machines has recommended machine settings. Your supervisor can show you the correct machine settings, or you can refer to the Optima instruction manual for proper air pressure settings, gate opening, and gear settings. Experience will tell you the best blowing speed, but a good starting point is to run the engine at about 2500 RPM. Increase the air slightly and close the air valve. Bibs blowing speed is less than that for an attic open blow. Reading across this chart, you'll find insulation thickness, the R value you'll blow, pounds per cubic foot you should be blowing to achieve the correct R value, and coverage per bag. This chart is on the Optima bag. It's a good idea to get a bag and study it. As you begin, your supervisor should work with you to help you judge how well you're achieving the correct R value. A slight bulge of approximately one half inch should be your goal. A bulge of this size will not interfere with the drywaller's work. Now, how can you tell whether you're blowing the right density? Well, here's one way to check your work. This cookie cutter method is endorsed by Bibka, the Blow-In Blanket Contractors Association. After you blow an area, remove some fabric so you can insert a cutter like this. Incidentally, the cutter is available from Bibka, or you can make one yourself. It should be 6 inches in diameter and 6 inches deep. Insert the cutter completely in the cavity and remove the plug of insulation. Now, using a postage scale, weigh the plug. If the weight of the plug is in the range on this chart, you've insulated correctly. If not, adjust your blowing and check your work again. Ideally, you should check several spots in each room to see how consistent your work is. For more information, check with Bibka. As you gain experience, you'll learn the feel of a correctly filled cavity and you'll be able to judge your work by firmness of the insulation. A good installer constantly tests the density by pushing gently against the material. The cavity must be completely filled and firm to the touch from floor to ceiling. Remember, you can always go back and add fill to any area you haven't filled completely. Pay attention to filling corners completely. And be sure to fill completely around obstacles such as pipes and boxes and ducts. In cold climates, to help prevent pipes in exterior walls from freezing, install the fabric like this, behind the pipes, so the insulation is between the pipes and the exterior wall. In narrow spaces, crimp the end of the hose and fill. And don't forget to chink around windows and doors with unfaced insulation. Many of today's homes may have a lot of wiring in the cavities. You have intercoms, alarm systems, stereos, and with bibs, whether you have one wire or a dozen, you can insulate effectively with no extra effort. You don't have to cut like with bad installations. The result is a uniformly insulated space with no gaps. Virtually every part of a house can be insulated with Optima. Here's a cathedral ceiling, and others. To insulate a ceiling under flooring, simply cover the joists and blow. Insulate band joists. It's easy to add sound control to a wall. Simply use fabric on both sides and blow. Insulate around shower stalls. And under bathtubs. Be sure to insulate behind electrical boxes. The last step before cleanup is to use a very soft bristle push broom to level off the work. Some installers prefer using a length of hose. 
go floor to ceiling and press gently against the fabric. This is also part of your inspection. If you notice any spots that are not completely filled, reinsert your hose and add Optima using a low blow speed. If you've overfilled, remove the excess material so the drywallers will have a nearly level surface. Experience will help you do a perfect job, but even the most experienced installers have to check their work. To help you remember what you've learned in this video, CertainTeed has prepared this Optima installation guide. Installing an Optima job correctly takes some on-the-job practice and experience. In this video, we've tried to give you the basics. As you've seen, Optima is great for insulating every space in a home completely. Good luck. We'll see you next time.